The detail in the whistleblower's report that folks seem to be fixating on is that White House officials who heard the call between right. Zelensky and Trump immediately knew something bad went down, apparently, because they moved the transcripts to those calls onto classified servers. Right. How important is that in all of this? Uh, it suggests that there was this attempt to cover uh, up the president's malfeasance. These are not actions of people who believe that they aren't guilty of something serious. Rudy Giuliani said that you should be impeached for comments you have made. I went to Ukraine because I had heard these stories mm -hmm. uh, about Rudy Giuliani and perhaps others trying to pressure the Ukrainian government to get involved in American elections. And in my meeting with President Zelensky, I said to him, if he wants to talk to the American government, he should be talking to the State Department. He shouldn't be talking to the president's political fixers. And that you know he would really risk the whole country's credibility if he was seen to be interfering in the 2020 election. I absolutely stand by the advice that I gave President Zelensky. And I think it's you know, really unfortunate that the administration still believes that their pressure campaign on Zelensky to get him involved in the president's reelection campaign is legitimate and that it's illegitimate for those of us to go over there and recommend that he stay out of our politics. Were you surprised the, at the way Zelensky behaved uh, in his meeting with the president in New York on the outskirts of the United Nations General Assembly? This is a country that is incredibly dependent on the United States for its very survival. It is our military relationship with them that holds the line that exists today between Ukrainian forces and Russian forces. It's American economic aid that keeps that economy afloat. Um, this is why it is totally inappropriate for an American president to be making any illicit demands of the Ukrainians because um, they're not in a position to resist. They're not in a position to say no. They need us. And President Zelensky ultimately needs Donald Trump. Uh, and so both in the phone call and in the meeting, I, I you know, watched President Zelensky as he tried not to get on the wrong side of an American president. And I completely understand yeah. why he is so careful about that.